Today I'm going to make a cabbage casserole. I have been making this for about 35 years. It's one of my favorites. It's very easy. It's loved by my family and it takes just a few seconds it seems like to whip this up. I'm Mary Ellen Autry. I'm a diabetes educator and dietitian at Austin Diagnostic Clinic. So the star of my recipe is of course going to end up being my cabbage. And this is going to be one of the cruciferous vegetables. It's related to, uh, to kale and broccoli. It was brought to Europe, it's believed, in about 600 BC. It was used by the ancient Greeks and it was used by the ancient Romans. And it was thought of as a panacea capable of curing many, many different health conditions. So, this is what I do is I just slice it like this and chop it into eh, pieces about like that. You can see I'm not real particular. Then I will begin to put a little bit of it into the bottom of my microwavable dish because this is going to be something that's put into the microwave. Depending on how big your bowl is, you may layer it about four different layers. Each layer is going to consist of the cabbage, a layer of cheese, a little bit of pepper, and olive oil. Because I'm trying to be more heart healthy with this particular recipe, I've actually gotten the fat-free mozzarella. You can end up getting low-fat mozzarella or you can use regular mozzarella. Any of them will turn out nicely. So I'm going to just take a little bit and sprinkle it on top of the cabbage, followed by a little bit of pepper. My original recipe called for dehydrated peppers, but as the years have gone on and we've moved throughout the states, I've kind of found that those dehydrated peppers are hard to get. So I've experimented around. Sometimes I use black pepper. Sometimes I use crushed pepper. Sometimes I use green pepper. It still always turns out very, very nicely. So feel free with this particular dish to experiment and to add different peppers and different amounts until you get it to the taste you like. The olive oil is going to be high in calories, so I'm going to be very careful about how much I put into this particular dish. My final layer of cabbage. My final layer of pepper and cheese. So I'm just going to put this into the microwave. Now to start out with this, I might set it for about three minutes and then I'll open it up, I stir it and I check it to see how done the cabbage is. So the three minutes are up and I'm going to see how the dish is doing. My cabbage casserole is now ready to serve. Often I'll serve this with pork chops. It works very well with steak. When my family camps, I would take this recipe and instead of putting it in a casserole dish, I would end up wrapping it up into individual little packages and then the little tin foil packages that had the cabbage, the cheese, and the pepper would go on the fire. So extremely versatile, uh, very easy to make. Uh, it's nice because you can use cabbage in a different way. Bon appetit.